name is Naomi Adrienne and welcome back to my channel. Today, as y'all can tell by the title of this video, this is actually a long awaited video. I get so, I've been wearing curly hair for quite some time now and this is actually a relatively new texture that I have introduced to my curly hair lifestyle. But um, <laughs> I've gotten so many questions about the type of hair that I wear, where is my hair from, along with how I'm a how do I define the curl what what products do I use that I have found works best with curly hair extensions and today is the day where I share that information with all of y'all I share it here and there whenever people ask but I figure you know what it has been long enough I have gotten too many questions about it so let me just go ahead get back to what I do and sit down and create a video to show y'all tell you how I get this look. And so, a little background on the hair that I have in right now. The hair is currently from Pink, not currently from. The only hair that I wear is from Pink Puddle Collection. And I actually have in one of their newer lines. Um, this is their exotic collection that they have created. But I have in um, their Indian curly hair. And I honestly am obsessed with this hair. This hair is super, super soft. And I love, love, love the curl pattern of this hair. But... Besides that, we'll get into that a little bit later, I currently have in three bundles. I have in 20, 18, and a 16 inch bundles with a 5x5, 14 inch closure. I recently actually got into 5x5 closures, somewhat by mistake, just trying different things out, just experimenting. And I actually really like them, mainly because of the part, the length of the part that it allows. It allows, of course, a longer part, and to me, I think a 5x5 closure, the parting on 5x5 closures looks a little more natural than your regular 4x4 closure. That's just me, my personal preference, but that's the hair that I have in right now. And without further ado, stay tuned to see how, what products I use and how I'm able to achieve this lovely, lovely, lovely curve. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I actually have already washed this hair, washed and conditioned it really good, and I just allowed it to air dry, and after air drying, I've just pretty much brushed it out and been running my fingers through the hair. Um, I didn't want to go through the whole process of starting off, of showing you guys how I wash the hair. It is a unit. You can pretty much YouTube any other videos on how to wash a wig, really. Um, if you guys would like me to show you how I go about washing my units, um, then that's not an issue. Just let me know and I'm more than happy to record the video. But some of the products that I do use on the hair, I mainly use the OGX, I believe that's, yeah, OGX brand as well as Moroccan oil. I personally love both of these brands on both of my, both extensions as well as my curly hair. My own natural hair and my natural curly hair. Um, all the products that I'm showing you guys today, pretty much across the board, are what I use for all of my curly hair routine, regardless of the curl pattern. So, I'm going to just show y'all some of the products that I use. Um, like I said, I skipped over showing you guys how I wash and condition the hair and everything, but I'll just show y'all the products I use. Um, I'm actually, I like I said, I love pretty much stand by Moroccan oil brand. I do know they are a bit pricier. Um, that's just what it is when you're dealing with, a, I guess, a higher quality of a product. But um, this is what the bottle looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it too, too well, but this is just the Moroccan oil hydrating um, shampoo. I've actually run out of the conditioner and I need to get some more, but I don't even have the bottle on me. But I'll typically use the um, shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely love this because once you add that conditioner, like it really does hydrate and make the hair feel so incredibly buttery, silky, silky smooth. But whenever I run out of those products, I'll also use interchangeably um, the OGX um, Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. I love, I originally started out using the OGX Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, coconut the well, specifically the coconut milk um and then over time I actually discovered the Moroccan oil brand and then I started using it and kind of didn't look back but I still use this this is a much cheaper um more cost effective alternative 
to the Moroccan, I wouldn't say alternative, like a dupe, but this is another, ooh, as I drop it, this is another really good brand that works really, really nice on the hair that I would also recommend. I find the, I love conditioners, you know, conditioners just make your hair feel amazing, and I find this coconut milk is so incredibly nourishing, and it, I'll even leave a little bit of either the, um, the Moroccan oil brand or even this particular one in my hair as well just as an extra line area of moisture and I'll also go through with my dim and brush to brush out the hair um, as I'm conditioning it because typically when I do define the curl, I'm just going to brush this hair as I talk, typically as I define the curls I will define it when the hair is like soaking wet after, not soaking wet, but pretty damp after washing the hair, but for purpose of this video, like I said, I just went ahead and washed the hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, wet this hair real quick. I'm going to just take the unit off and wet it really quick, and then I'll come right back to show you all how I go through and define the curl. Okay, so now... As you can see, the hair is nice and completely saturated. So, the products I like to use are these, really, this one product right here. I actually went to, this is the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. I actually went to go get a larger bottle of this and I accidentally picked up the wrong one. And it wasn't, I had a slow moment. I didn't realize it until after the fact, so I'm like kind of just stuck with this. But this is the Instant Curl Cream, the Moroccan Oil Instant Curl Cream. And I don't like it as much as this one. I find like this one is much of a lighter weight. But I do find that this one really does help with um, frizz. So it really comes down to personal preference. And then another product that I'm going to show you guys, I don't use this as often, but I actually used to live by this product. This is a Too Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I used to live by this product. I don't like it in this particular, the Indian hair, as much because I do find this product is a lot heavier. And yes, it'll pretty much do the same thing that the Mor Moroccan oil products do. But I find that this one does weigh down the hair a little bit. So you do have to be a little mindful when how much um, of the product that you use. But for the sake of today's video, I'm just going to go in with these two products. So I'm going to take the Moroccan oil instant curl cream first. The one that I don't care for as much. And I'm going to just put a little bit of it in my hands. And starting with the bottom, I'm just pretty much massaging and fingering it through the whole head. And what I really like about these products is it will... They will give you that defined ringlet curl while adding moisture and not making the hair hard and crunchy like some curl defining creams do. Um, it doesn't make it hard and crunchy, it actually makes it super soft. And it'll allow you to like continue, I dropped my brush, continue to run your fingers through the hair without um, it frizzing up too much. And my hair has actually started to dry a little bit, I just want it to be a little bit more sopping. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit more water to it. And as I'm doing that, just taking my spray bottle and adding some water to it. Mainly also on the front. And now I'm just going to take my diamond brush and brush it through the hair. So it can clump the curls together a little bit more. Because like I said, we are going for that defined curl look, but once it dries, I'll probably break it up, break the curls up a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to go through and clump these curls together. Sometimes what I'll even do is as I'm brushing the hair down, I'll curl it or twirl it a little bit just so it can like clump and lock larger chunks of the hair together. But that's really it. And now I'm going to go in with the curl defining cream. And I'm going to just take this around the same amount that I did before. A quarter sized <laughs> amount. I don't know why. 
I love the way this product smells. Like this, <laughs> I don't know what it is about Moroccan oil and Moroccan oil branded products, but I love the scent of it. And I'm just going ahead, back through, same way. I'm putting the products all throughout the hair. I don't know if y'all can really even see. It looks thin and sparse because the hair is wet right now but as you can see a little bit the curls see if y'all can see like these curls have clumped together and what I'll do ooh, just go back in with my dimming brush and twirl it and y'all can see how it formed that nice tight coil I like the tight coils but I don't know what I'm feeling today tight no let's break that up a little bit so that's really it and now I'm going to just go ahead and I brushed it out initially, then went back through it with the pro um, brushed it out with the product in it. And now I'm going to just let it air dry. And what I really like about this hair, you really don't need a lot of, you really don't need any product at all to define the curl. But I like to just add a little bit of that Moroccan oil, just to add some hydration and um, moisture into the hair while it is dry. And I, do, I don't do this pr process every single day. I don't put hair product in the hair every day. But what I will do, maybe every, if I wear this hair over the course of a week, I'll define the curls maybe twice. And in terms of completely saturating the hair, taking the wig off, saturating it, washing all the um, product out, and putting some more in. It really just depends on the hair, what I'm doing, where I'm going. But what I do like is that I do leave the product in the hair. And occasionally, just throughout the day, or if... Maybe for instance, say for example, I go to work and then after work, I have a long day at work and then after work I go out, I come home, change, get dressed to go out. I will re-spritz the hair and then run it through with that dimming brush just to refresh and reactivate the curls, reactivate the product that was in the hair. Um, but other than that, that's really it. That's just very simple. I told y'all, like, it is not that complicated. I'm going to come back in a little bit just so you guys can see what the hair looks like once it's dry. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all when the hair is dry. So it has been some time now and I've allowed the hair to dry. It still is a little damp in some areas. But as you can see, it has a ton of body. I'm flipping my hair around, running my fingers through it just a little bit. Very little snags and tangles. Um, I am somewhat fingering out um, the tighter coils and the tighter ringlets that were created when defining the curl just because I just, you know, I like the defined curl look, but I also like how soft and flowy it is once you start to pick a pe pick apart some of those curls and allow it just to just to grow just a little little bit but um I actually have a treat for you guys I have a discount code so you guys can get a little money off of your order if you decide to order hair from Pink Petal Collection um discount code will be left somewhere somewhere around here as well as in the description box and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it answered all of your questions and you guys were able to see it the products that I use and how I go about defining these curls as you can see it's super super easy like it is so easy it, it, come on now it is really easy like it doesn't take that much effort and what I love about this hair unlike most most curly hair tangles of course you're gonna get your um, typical snags and tangles but I get absolutely no shedding from this hair and it also does not tangle up in the nape of the neck after wearing it for a long day after it being dry but that I think a lot of that also has to do with one the quality of the hair as well as the products that I put in it because it's very hydrating and I put a lot of moisturizing products in the hair but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like always, don't forget to thumbs up, and even feel free to mess message me or comment down below if you guys have any additional questions, or even if you would like me to record a video, I don't know, of me washing the hair, or like even doing some different styles. I do like to style, even though it is a wig, like I said, I do like to just play around with different hairstyles with it, just to switch it up. Here and there, if you like, you guys would like to see any other videos, please, please, please let me know. 
But like always, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so y'all can stay up to date with all my latest videos. And like I always say, forever and always, do you and be beautiful. Till next time, guys.